Hello and welcome to another Cloud Words video. My name is Mauricio and today I'll be reviewing pCloud. pCloud is one of my favorite cloud storage services and it's one that I use daily so I can safely say it's one of the best cloud storage services around. But is it the right one for you? Well, stick around to find out. But before we get started, I just want to remind you to subscribe to our channel if you want all the latest updates on cloud storage. We upload expert reviews and informative videos all the time so you want to hit the bell icon to get notified whenever we release a new video. So with that out of the way, let's get started with this pCloud review. Let's start things off with a little intro to what pCloud is. pCloud is a cloud storage service, which means that it keeps files you upload to it and lets you access them wherever you are. It can also sync files between all your devices so you can have them on your laptop, your home computer, and work computer at the same time. It comes with 10 gigabytes of free storage, which you can then upgrade to two terabyte. To sweeten the deal, you can even get a lifetime plan and save a ton of money in the long run. pCloud is privacy oriented and has some really cool media capabilities and space saving features to boot. There are some negatives, of course, but for now you have at least some kind of context for pCloud. So let's break down what pCloud offers and at what price so you can decide if it's the right cloud storage for you. Like I said, I use pCloud daily and it has some features that I just can't live without. I'll talk about those first and then I'll move on to the more minor stuff. The first of these features is the virtual drive. This is a file syncing feature that lets you basically extend your computer's storage capacity by attaching your cloud storage to it. Basically, it attaches another drive to your computer, kind of like a local disk C, except it uses your cloud storage instead of your hard drive. To upload files, you can just drop them in the virtual drive and you'll be able to access them anywhere with an internet connection. The downside of the virtual drive is that you need to be online at all times to access your files, but honestly, when are you not online? That's one feature that I use all the time, and another one obviously is file sharing. Now, all cloud storage services, or most of them, have some kind of file sharing features, but pCloud gives you a lot of control over how you share those files. It lets you set passwords and expiry dates for sharing links, and you can disable downloads for links if you want to. You can also see download stats to see how much traffic your link got, if it's a public link. And if you're a business owner, you can brand your sharing links with your company's logo. But my favorite feature is the upload link feature. It lets you share a link to a folder so that people can upload to it, even if they don't have a pCloud account. This is great for working with freelancers like we do at CloudWords because you don't have to let strangers access your entire database. But that's not all pCloud can do. In fact, one of its best features is its media player. It's by far the most capable media player we've seen on a cloud storage service. For music, it lets you sort your thongs into playlists and organize them automatically by artist, album, or folder. The video player is equally impressive. It lets you change playback speeds just like YouTube does, and it even converts your videos to a different format or lower quality so they take up a little less space on your computer or in your storage. On the less interesting features, pCloud keeps old versions of files and deleted files for up to 30 days, but you can extend that to a whole year at a cost. It also has a backup feature that lets you backup your computer to your pCloud storage. I personally feel like it's a bit redundant since it doesn't offer like a full image-based backup anyway, but you might not feel the same way, so you can really check it out for yourself. There's also a pCloud browser extension which lets you save images from the internet directly to your cloud storage. You can even download images you wouldn't normally be able to, like Instagram pictures. But keep in mind though that the extension doesn't work if you have two-factor authentication enabled. In any case, it's a speedy service, partly thanks to the fact that it uses block level syncing. This means that if you make a change to file, only the altered part gets uploaded instead of the whole file. This is very useful when working with large files, especially considering that pCloud has no file size limit. pCloud is one of the fastest cloud storage services that we've tested at CloudWords, and it has the fastest download speeds in our latest speed test. We we'll link to our full speed test result in the description box below, and I use it personally as a video creator to upload and download my videos and share it with our video editor. 
Security is one of pCloud's highlights, and that's mostly due to its use of zero-knowledge encryption. Now, almost every cloud storage service encrypts your files, which scrambles them and makes them unreadable without an encryption key. But zero-knowledge encryption is special because only you hold the encryption key. This means that no one but you can access your files, not even pCloud itself. However, pCloud's zero knowledge encryption comes with a pretty big caveat. You have to pay extra for it because it comes in the form of a paid add-on called pCloud Crypto. Not only that, but it only covers one folder. This is a significant drawback compared to more secure cloud ser services like sync.com, which covers your whole storage with zero knowledge encryption. You can see how to compare in our sync.com versus pCloud video right here at the top. That's not to say pCloud isn't secure, far from it. Not many services offer zero knowledge encryption, mostly because it impacts speeds. So pCloud's implementation represents a pretty reasonable compromise between security and practicality and speed, of course. When it comes to privacy, you can choose whether to store your files in the US or the EU. We recommend going with the EU option because the US has some pretty bad surveillance laws, while the EU is very strict in regards to data privacy. But obviously, that's basically up to you. And if you're in the US, it might come with a small speed drawback. pCloud is a very affordable cloud storage solution. But before we get into its paid plans, let's take a look at what you get for free. So pCloud has one of the best free plans for cloud storage and it comes with 10 gigabytes of storage. Now, initially you only get two gigabytes, but you can unlock the rest by doing a few simple tasks like installing the app and inviting friends. And some of pCloud's sharing features are locked for free users as well. If you're interested in free cloud storage, you can also check out our best free cloud storage services list right here. Here. When it comes to paint plans, you get a discount if you pay for a year in advance. So I'll talk about the prices with the discounts factored in, but we'll display the monthly price on the screen here as well. So PeakCloud has two plans. The 500 gigabyte plan one costs a bit over $4 a month and the two terabyte plan comes in at around $8 per month. This is about as cheap as it gets for a premium cloud storage service. But again, there's that caveat that zero knowledge encryption costs extra. The crypto add-on will add another $4 a month to your bill. But the best part about pCloud's pricing are its lifetime plans. They let you make a one-time payment for your cloud storage and you can access it forever, at least forever that pCloud is alive. These plans really pay off in the long run and it takes about three years to break even. You still have to pay an extra $125 for zero knowledge, but even so, the savings are massive. So what is the final word on pCloud? Well, if you've seen our best cloud storage video, you'll already know the answer. We rank pCloud as the second best cloud storage just behind sync.com. And if you don't believe me, you can watch our full best cloud storage video right here. It's just an excellent service with so many good features and it's hard not to recommend it. I use it daily and I'll continue to do so for a long time. It's also pretty affordable when you factor in the lifetime plans. So really, it's a very good package overall. And there you have it. That's the end of our pCloud review. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. It really helps the channel to grow so we can keep putting out more quality content for you guys. If you'd like to see more cloud storage content, you can subscribe to our channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon. And you can also visit our website where we do detailed written reviews on everything I've just mentioned here in the video. You'll find links to our written review of pCloud in the description below, as well as the full written version of our best cloud storage article and our speed test results. If you have any feedback for us, we'd love to hear your thoughts. So please drop us a comment. And as always, see you in my next video. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.